Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to the new video. In this video, we will learn about the De Moivre's theorem. Now, according to the statement, it says that cos theta plus iota sin theta whole power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta where n is positive or negative integer or positive or negative fraction. Now, here we have the case 1. Now, in the case 1, when n is a positive integer, so let's suppose we are putting n is equal to 2. So according to this one, cos theta plus iota sin theta whole power 2. So we will apply the formula of a plus b whole square. So that will be cos square theta plus 2 iota cos theta into sin theta plus iota sin theta whole square. So cos square theta we know that iota square is equal to minus 1 so it will be minus sin square theta plus iota 2 sin theta into cos theta we know that cos square theta minus sin square theta is equal to cos 2 theta plus iota it will be the same and we know that 2 sin theta into cos theta that is equal to sin 2 theta so cos 2 theta plus iota sin 2 theta so we can say that the theorem is true for the positive integers now here we have the case 2 when n is a negative integer so cos theta plus iota sin theta whole power minus n so we can rewrite it as 1 upon cos theta plus iota sin theta whole power n so applying the same technique bring this n inside so cos n theta plus iota sin n theta once we get this one so we can rationalize this one 1 upon cos n theta plus iota sin n theta we know that in the rationalization we multiply and we change the signs in the numerator and the denominator so cos n theta minus iota sin n theta divided by cos n theta minus iota sin n theta so it will be cos n theta minus iota sin n theta if we multiply both these terms so it will be cos n theta whole square minus iota sin n theta whole square. so the term that is in the numerator it will be the same divided by so cos square n theta plus iota sin square n theta so because we know that iota is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 into minus that will be plus so plus iota sin square n theta so at the end cos theta plus iota sin theta whole power minus n that is equal to cos n theta minus iota sin n theta and we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so this term will be 1 so this will remain so we can say that the theorem is true for the negative integers now here we have the case 3 it says that let n is equal to p upon q where q is positive or p is any positive or negative integer according to n now let's suppose cos theta by q plus iota sin theta by q whole power q that is equal to cos q theta by q plus iota sin q theta by q so q q will be cancelled so cos theta plus iota sin theta cos theta plus iota sin theta it means this one that is equal to cos theta by q plus iota sin theta by q whole power q we will put q inside not p because q is the positive in this case so once we get this one if we multiply it with the power 1 upon q on the both sides so it will be cos theta plus iota sin theta whole power 1 upon q is equal to and if we place the 1 upon q over here in the outside bracket so 1 upon q into q that will be cancelled so this will remain cos theta by q plus iota sin theta by q and in the next step if we multiply it with the power p on both sides 
so that will be cos theta plus iota sin theta whole power p upon q and it will be equal to cos theta by q plus iota sin theta by q whole power p so we can say that applying the same technique and in the case one we bring this p in the inside so cos p by q into theta plus iota sin p by q into theta so we can say that the result is true for n is equal to p upon q fraction i hope you understand thank you for watching this video